Tears Fall Glades is a land as forsaken as its inhabitants, a land whose past exists only in memory. Once a beautiful, verdant, forested land, full of lively denizens, plentiful farms, crystal blue lakes, and rolling pastures, Tears Fall was the crown jewel of the once great human kingdom of Lordaeron. Now it is a shadow of its former self. The land itself mourns and weeps. Dark grays and browns litter the landscape. The cool, damp rot that pervades bellows hatred and yearns a palpable vengeance for the traitorous prince that sealed its fate. Arthas' scourge took the glades like a cancer, turning everything, green and good, into pitch and corrupt. The lives of every person, every animal, and every tree wisped away in the cold, dark grip of undeath. An undeath under the control of a dark emperor, miles away in the frozen north. As tears fall withered, the mindless ghouls, zombies, and foul creatures shuffled and crawled throughout the glades to seek out the last independent flames of life in order to snuff them out forever. However, death's unending advance was not without resistance. Survivors of the scourge and adherents of the Holy Light banded together to eradicate all abominations of undeath in the once great kingdom. Unbeknownst to the Crusaders, however, everything in this land is subject to its unending pain and corruption. The Scarlet Crusade, once a pious extension of the Order of the Silver Hand, became a xenophobic, militant, and fundamentalist group of extremists who seek out to destroy not only the dead that infest their once beloved land, but also those not pure enough to pledge allegiance to their banner. Tears Fall is therefore a land of extremes, where two opposing forces, equally extreme in their goals and lost in their ignorance, fight to the bitter end. And caught in the middle of it all are fledgling anomalies, walking contradictions. Among all the death and decay in Tears Fall, after many years, there is new life being born. However, this is life not born of the wombs of women. Instead, it comes from the will of one woman, Sylvanas Windrunner. If the vengeance of Tears Fall is rivaled by any creature, it is second only to that of the Dark Lady herself. Once the Ranger General of the High Elven forces of Quel'Thalas, her mortal soul was stripped of her by Arthas Menethil, and forced to bear witness to the destruction of her ancestral lands and other lands as a bodiless banshee. At a time of momentary weakness, the hold of the Lich King's grasp on his undead minions lessened, allowing the willful and cunning soul of Sylvanas to reclaim her former body. Body and soul now reunited, Sylvanas forged a one-sided alliance with the agents of the Burning Legion and, with the help of her banshees, started to free other Scourge agents. These free-minded undead are forever known as the Forsaken. Imagine yourself now as a newly freed Forsaken, the Shroud of Undeath removed from your eyes. Immediately you are inundated with memories of your former life. These memories crash into you like great waves in a stormy sea. You may remember the coos of a newborn child, the deep blue eyes of your young love, the warm caress of your spouse's arms, the loving eyes of your mother and father, and the warm breeze on your face. However, as you slowly open your eyes, for what seems to be the first time in ages, you are welcomed by a cold, stale air. As your sight begins to focus, you see a form in front of you. The lines become more defined as you make out a slim, gaunt, humanoid form. The skin of this creature is loose and pallid. You make out bones extruding from the ghastly white limbs. You immediately retract and begin to scream. <coughs> However, this scream is alien to you. It is not your voice, at least the voice you remember. It is somehow strange, detached, inhuman. You reflectively put your arm in front of your face in horror and immediately notice the same pallid, desiccated skin you saw in the ghostly figure in front of you. A sudden horror rushes into you as you remember the moment of your own death. Your slowed breathing, your vision contracting into a bleak, 
dark tunnel of unending black. How can this be true? How are you here? Questions without answer. You begin to feel your own face with cold, bony fingers. The warm heat of your cheeks no longer there. You breathe, but your lungs do not react. You pound your hand to your chest once, twice, three times. The echo of your heartbeat is no longer. You come to the realization that this is either a dream or that you have been transformed in some way. You are no longer a living being. You are something in between. This horrid truth has become undeniable. The figure in front of you reaches out with an open hand towards you. Your immediate reaction is to flee, but your legs do not respond. Instead, you cower with fear. But in your fearful state, you notice determination and will in the sunken eyes of your, what you think to be, your captor. The ghostly figure speaks, and although you are in no state to fully comprehend, you make out the words, You are the Lich King's slave no more from the dark, dry voice. The unlives of the Forsaken are far from easy. They are beset on all sides by those that wish to destroy them. Both the Scarlet Crusade and the Agents of the Scourge vie to eradicate and purge. But you, even as a fledgling Forsaken, you are tasked with reclaiming Tyrus Fall for the Dark Lady and her alliance of necessity with the Horde. After reclaiming Death Knell, you venture out into Greater Tears Fall, first attacking a Scarlet Crusade settlement and bringing news of your success to Magistrate Severin in the town of Brill. Despite its gloomy facade, Brill is a lively town, full of others that look like you. Memories again begin to flood back as you remember purchasing meat and produce from vendors lining the cobblestone streets. You remember drinking a mug of ale in the local inn, and the parade that littered rose petals on the ground upon Prince Arthas's triumphant return. However, now the vendors are gone. The rose petals long ago decayed. But among all this darkness and gloom, you are met by faces that you have never seen before. Large, brutish green creatures wielding axes and blades. Bovine behemoths using curative magics on a lanky, tusked troll. This is the first time you are met by your brothers and sisters in arms, envoys of the Kalimdor Horde, arriving from the Zeppelin Tower just outside of town. These three strangers offer you a nod, and you are emboldened. You join them in the inn for a friendly conversation and hear stories of battle. Although you are still becoming accustomed to your new life, you feel purpose once more. Some of the fleeting memories that plagued your mind begin to subside. You feel you're a part of something bigger. With your allegiance to the Dark Lady and the Greater Horde Paramount, you begin your journey in these old, yet somehow new, surroundings. Quest after quest. Task after task, you and your allies deliver blows to the Scourge and thwart attacks from the Scarlet Crusade. You are sent to bring a powerful Lich into service of the Dark Lady. You venture into the cavernous tunnels under the once great city of Lordaeron, passing through the very throne room where your once beloved king was slain by his own son. Here you kneel before your dark lady and give your unlife to her unquestioningly. You are tasked with assassinating scourge lieutenants in the haunted mills to the north and delve deep into ancient tombs to retrieve powerful artifacts. From your fallen enemies, you find weapons and armor of increasing quality, and some with enchantments that make you stronger. With each enemy felled, you grow in skill and confidence. And finally, before heading into lands unknown, you deal a crushing blow to the Scarlet Crusade's battlements to the northeast. You are now something more than you once were. You are no longer a butcher or blacksmith's apprentice. You are no longer a stable hand or a tavern keep. You are a cog in a great war machine. You are vengeance incarnate. It is obvious to you now that you will never again experience the life you once led. But you stuff that deep down. This is a fight for another day. Now you have another life, another calling. 
you are now forsaken. You are now whored. On a personal note, Tearsaw Glades was the first zone I experienced, and in my opinion, it is more than just an introduction to the world of Warcraft. Tearsfall itself is a living, breathing story, unfolding everywhere you look. Each individual you meet, each stone, each creature, have a story to tell. In almost every quest, the yearning for lost lives past are written. The Gammon Mills quest chain is much more than a standard kill quest. No, it is a quest for vengeance. The Scholar Crusade quests aren't there just to provide you a different enemy to kill. They instead illustrate just how important survival is to the fledgling Forsaken. In my opinion, Tearsfall and the Forsaken are inexorably linked, two sides of the same coin. Tearsfall and the Forsaken share their pain, their corruption, but most importantly, their vengeance, and in that way, provide one of the most unique introductions to the greatest gaming experience ever made. If you have never leveled Forsaken or didn't get a chance to play in the classic world, I highly recommend it. To me, the Forsaken are the only race that have a faction of sorts all their own. Although Forsaken swords, staves, and spells ultimately give their allegiance to the War Chief Thrall, their hearts, albeit dead and cold, beat for the Dark Lady and their fellow Forsaken. Long live the Forsaken. Long live the Dark Lady. Hey guys, this is a creative writing project that I've started. My goal is to write about each and every zone in vanilla, so in the comment section below, feel free to tell me the zone you'd like me to cover next. I'd be happy to go with your suggestion, and I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you liked it, please leave a like below. If you enjoy this type of content or are interested in other types of videos we make here at Def Camp Melder on TV, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more guides, Def Talk interviews with WoW content creators and enthusiasts, Melderon's classic WoW vlogs, and Dungeon Diver Let's Plays. Also, join us on Discord to be part of the Def Camp Melder on TV community, and follow us on Twitter for video updates and more. Links will be in the description. I also like to take this opportunity to thank our wonderful patrons who make videos like this possible. If you want to help us make better content by supporting us directly, consider becoming a patron. There are a number of rewards that you might find interesting. A link to the Patreon page is available down in the description and will also be available at the end of the video as a clickable link. And a very special thanks to Wiznips, Def Camp, and Discipula for helping me recording a lot of these scenes. Thanks a lot guys, really had a lot of fun doing it. Thanks for watching. This is Melderon signing off. Keep on keep binding and grinding, baby. Oh yeah! <laughs>